If you haven't already seen Simple Pottering Days like this part one, when I go up the River Plym, then click on the link above. If you have, then welcome to part two. That's the Royal William Yard Ferry. Um, I think they've changed their sed schedule this year, but I'd have to check this. But they come from over here. The landing stage is there in the Barbican. They go around to the Royal William Yard, and then I'm not 100% sure whether they then go over to um, Kremel or not. Uh, but I think they're now all, they used to be independently owned, but I think they're now all owned by the same company. I think the only independent one now is the yellow water taxi over there. Glad to see they're wearing life jackets. That was sarcasm, by the way. Now, you can see the ferry coming in, so I do not want to be in that area in front of us um, when uh, the ferry closes. It's like rush hour. I was coming out for a quiet sail. yellow boat up ahead was familiar. I'm sure I've seen a picture of it somewhere, but for the life of me, I just can't remember where or when. Nice little boat though. Anyway, anyway let's focus on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is tacking. I would say possibly coming in a little too fast there. Just crossing the wake of one of the cruise liner's lifeboats here. It's going to be a tap bumpy for a second or two. It's going out for most of today, so I'm just out for a potter really and just here enjoying the sun. It's lovely, isn't it? my GoPro Hero 2 over the side. It was attached to the mizzen mast, I thought, but actually looking at the mizzen um, attachment point, it's not been in there, so I've put it somewhere, and I'm hoping I didn't leave it on the side deck and it's dropped off, um, because I'm really sentimentally attached to that Hero 2. It was the very first GoPro I got, and it has been absolutely fantastic, and it's accompanied me on all sorts of journeys around the world. I've searched the boat and I can't find it. But in saying that, I quite often lose things and they turn up. So hopefully in the next 20 minutes or so. What's nice at the moment is that Arwen is perfectly balanced and she's literally sailing herself. Um, we'll just clear this green boy, tack around and then head back over past the cruise ship and off into core sand. Actually, might even stop here and do some fishing. Could drop anchor along here. Be very nice. Now I might do that a bit later on. Tide's going out at the moment. Let the tide start to turn a bit. The yellow boat? Well, it turns out to be the designer Richard Woods and his lovely Chat 18 multi-hull. 
Richard, if you're watching now, one thousand sincerest apologies for not recognising you or, or saying hello. I was too busy focusing on tacking at the time. I know a few of you have asked me to show Arwen's rowing setup and also to talk about the dinghy clothing that I wear when I'm cruising. Um, I'll do both along with a few other requests in, in another video later this month, so I haven't forgotten. In the meantime, whilst Arwen sells herself, I'm going to look one more time for my Hero 2. It's a futile exercise, I suspect, but um, you know, it's worth a last search, isn't it? Blind that when I turned 50, my brain started slowly turning to mush. It's ridiculous, isn't it? How can I lose a GoPro? didn't think of that. The wind shadow of a cruise liner. <laughs> yep, that'll teach me to come a bit close. Now we're in trouble. I'm going to have to go around the other side if I can tack. Hopefully I can just drift enough to pass her stern. But yeah, didn't think of that. Do you know, if God had given me a brain, I'd have been positively dangerous. As it is, I'm just an idiot. A Muppet. A fool. Sorting out my anchor and my anchor buddy here while Arwen sails herself across to Corsan Bay. Um, there's not a lot of room over there, so I want to be prepared when I go in. Well, we're in Corsan Bay and I'm just heading out of the bay and about to make a tack around uh, and then we'll go in and find an anchorage either just off the beach or in the lee of Penley Point um, and we'll have a stop and have a bite of lunch over there. We'll make the tack about now. Around she goes. Hopefully it'll clear my head. And not quite stalled to wind so we are going that's good. Okay, and release the jib. 
and around we go, just in time to hit a load of waves from passing boats. Did she just caught up over the front of the boom there, but it's still, still operable, I think. Looking a bit busy on the beach up ahead. breeze now. It's a lovely walk if you catch the ferry from the Barbican over to here and they put you off at that beach over there and then you walk all the way around, all the way along that headland um, all the way out over there beyond uh, Fort Picklecombe, all the way around and then you can pick up the other ferry which is the Cremel Ferry and then you walk back up over the top of Plymouth Hoe and it is an absolutely cracking walk, beautiful on a day like this. Okay the village up ahead there is King Sand and I'm just going to go into King Sand Bay and then tack around uh, and what I'm hoping to do is to tuck right in in the lee of Penley Point, inshore of those other boats. Um, but at the moment I've just gone a bit head to wind. There's very fickle winds here um, because they get channeled by the two valleys ahead of you. Um, and so it swaps and swirls a lot as you come into this bay. A bit more crowded than I was expecting. Um, Lots of people obviously taking an extended weekend, or they're all retired like me, yeah, one or the other. Gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, here we go then, nice turn of speed, round we go. Jib. And pull the other one in. And there we go. Gosh, for a minute I wondered what that was. It was a log. <laughs> well, no, I thought it was a sea serpent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. Talk about heart stopping for a split second. Okay, we'll turn head to wind drop the sail and then uh, go in under motor. Thanks for watching. Join us for part three, a swim and a new beach landing. Take care out there.